Hey, welcome to Adventures and Pop-Ups. I'm Blake, this is Rachel. This is the place you come for campsite reviews. Tips, tricks, hacking mods, everything to make your camping adventures more awesome, more fun. Yes. Today we are going to talk about... Every time we go camping, we pray for great weather. We all want the best weather, but what happens when it's not looking so good? So we've got some tips and tricks, advice for you to consider and to think about when you think about whether or not or how to weather the storms. We always uh, hope for great weather when we're camping, but you know, life happens and storms roll in and they roll by and they roll through. Hey, you like your awning and we like ours and you put it out, definitely want to stake it down because when that storm blows through, we can have quite a gust of wind at the end or yeah. right in the beginning or during the middle. And that awning will go flying up and over and you'll have some bent poles and maybe break something. So avoid that. Or if you know the storm's coming, take it down, roll it up, right. put it away and less chance for breakage is breakages and injuries or repairs yes. needed. Also, keep an eye on that weather because if you know it's gonna rain, pack some of your stuff up. Uh, you might not wanna leave your chairs out, especially if it's just this little quick storm that rolls by and then the day is beautiful again. And now all your chairs are wet, your stuff is wet. So keep an eye out. What we do is tuck our camp chairs under by the tongue under the bunk bed uh, but under the bunk end and that helps a lot it's pretty sheltered under there unless it's raining sideways you should still have your stuff stay dry so if it's gonna rain check out what you got out and secure it especially the awning because we definitely learned that the hard way did not watch the weather secure your garbage Ooh. yeah the garbage Ugh. <laughs> always definitely. always we definitely recently left the trash out at night during a storm and I was up at 2 or 3 a.m. collecting trash because I was sure that it was probably going to end up in the lake by morning and I probably was right. So please learn from our mistakes. So that was number one is to secure your stuff and your awning. Number two, let's talk about high winds. How much wind is too much and what do you do? Well, you could go up to 50 or 70 miles an hour. That can still be safe. That seems pretty intense to me. Gusts. Um, gusts. Gusts. Up to gusts. Yeah, not sustained wind. What you'll want to do if you're in a pop-up camper is vent the corners just a few inches, three, four, five inches maybe, depending on how strong the winds are, uh, and get a towel in case it's raining sideways. But uh, reduce some of the stress of the wind let some of that drag be dissipated by some pass-through air. That will help a lot to not blow over your little tiny camper if it's like a thousand pounds. Um, <laughs> right. And you know, you have that big, huge, like basically it's like a hot air balloon, only it's just catching the wind from the side and, and instead of rising up. So you don't want to get blown away or tossed over or wrecked. We don't want to get wrecked. Right, and I will say, when it gets stormy out, the tent, the canvas will be flopping and it is okay. It can be scary and be like, oh my goodness, dear Lord help us, but it is okay. And if you're really worried about it, just create some air vents so that some wind can pass through instead of just being stopped. I mean, that's a good point too. You could pray. That's not on our notes, but uh, it wouldn't help to say, dear Lord, please help us. He's good. The word <laughs> of God says, cast all your cares on the Lord because he cares. He cares about you. We hope you know that. And another thing you can do is that we have not done, but I saw this advice and it was good. If you're able to, depending on the direction of the wind and your setup, you could move your tow vehicle to kind of break the wind so that it's hitting and then passing on that's, to your camper. That's a great idea. It is a great idea. I'll have to keep that in mind for next time. Number three, get a good weather app and keep an eye on it. When we were in Pensacola, Florida last year, um, there was a serious storm coming through. We knew it was coming. Serious. They evacuated the island that we were trying to visit the day before. And we were like, oh my. Um, the camp host came through checking on people during the day and he said, don't worry if you ever have any problems, 
Our bathhouse has like 10 foot in the ground steel Hur girders. Shelters. It's been through many hurricanes. Just go to the bathhouse if you're worried and you'll be all right. And we're like, thank you very much. So my point is actually to keep an eye on the weather app. We ended up not needing to go to the bathhouse um, because it actually ended up lightening up into basically a thunderstorm. And, but I had my weather app out and anytime, like, like through the night, like if the camper, the wind or whatever woke me up, I was like, okay, we're all right, we're all right. So, um, and I felt okay with that. If you're not okay with it, go to the bathhouse. It's okay. But in our case, it ended up just fine. And it, there was no, you know, hail or anything severe. It was just thunderstorms. So it all worked out. You definitely want to watch out for hur hurricanes and tornadoes. Yes, I please mean, don't hear us wrong there. But it, it ended up being just We don't fine. need no Wizard of Oz hocus pocus <laughs> stuff, okay? So number four, when do you go to the bathhouse? Well, we were on our way back from Niagara Falls and we stopped at Amishville. Yes. USA? Amishville, USA. Amishville, USA. Uh, apparently there's a lot of Amish in that area. Anyways, campground with a little swimming hole. When we got there, huge thunderstorm, rainstorm. Really bad. And tornado warnings. We get there, it calms down, stops raining. I get a flat tire. We're like, let's set up. Let's set up. Everyone's going to the bathhouse. They're like, come on, let's go to the bathhouse. We're like, it's 40 yards away. We can get there if we need to get there. So um, we felt good. We felt safe. Uh, 15 minutes later, everyone was uh, exiting the bathhouse. Yeah, We've been done. stuck in our car for several hours. We were not wanting to sit in the bathhouse with 50, 60 people. Mm -hmm. um, so we decided to set up camp. We made our own judgment call. Some of them probably right. thought we were foolish. We don't care what people think. We do what we want to do. Uh, but had we have thought that there was a serious threat, right. uh, you know, within a half a mile or a mile, we probably would have got in there, but we didn't think that there was much yeah. of a serious threat uh, other than the warning being issued. Right. Yeah, it basically was torrential rain on the way there. And then when we got there, it stopped. And the bathhouse was literally across the street so we were like 30 to 50 yards 40 yards maybe tops 30, yeah 35 yards so we, were, we kept the kids in the car we're like quick we're gonna set up fast which takes 10 to 15 minutes it's really not that bad and we're like if at any point we feel unsafe we're out of here and it didn't it blew over it was fine it so was fine. but we were prepared we were ready and if we were far from the bathhouse i don't think we would have done that since it was across the street uh we just went for it and it turned out all right so that's a judgment call that you have to make in the moment, but know where to go, know how long it's gonna to take to get there. If you're not close, you probably need a little more buffer. Okay, number five, when do you call it? When do you say we need to get out of here? When we seek shelter? Go home. Go home, <laughs> call, it a, call it a trip. We actually left early on our last trip because we didn't feel like sitting in the camper for a rainstorm all day. Yes. But that was the first time we ever done that. That is the first time we've ever done that. It's raining now. Yeah, it's actually starting to rain right now. It will so, rain on you. And so the reason we decided to call it wasn't actually for safety. We went to Rent Lake for spring break and it was gorgeous all day, but we knew it was supposed to rain. Not only supposed to rain, but it was supposed to be like floodwaters, three inches of rain overnight and more the next day. And that was our last day. Like the whole rest of the trip was going to be flood and our stuff was going to be wet. So we were like, I think it's been a good few days. Let's go home. And I'm glad we did. It dropped 30 degrees on the way home, which is only like two and a half hours. And we were like, whoa, when, when call to it. call it. <laughs> only you can make that judgment of when to call it, but keep it in mind. And keep in mind if your stuff's gonna get wet and whether or not you should just go home or skip the vacation. But I see a lot of people post like, do you think I should cancel this trip? It's supposed to rain. Um, a lot of times it doesn't just rain for three days straight. Most often it'll blow over and you can still enjoy your camping trip. So keep that in mind instead of just canceling because you see a few rain clouds on the on the on your phone app. Because guess what? Weathermen are wrong a lot. Uh, number six. Number six is... I'm melting. It's raining. <laughs> towing tips. So when you're towing, you know, 50 to 60, 70 miles an hour, no. When you're towing, I'm talking 
10 to 30 miles per hour wind, you, you can get tipsy, it can flip. So you need to be a lot more careful, reduce your speed. I suppose you're, you're the main tower, you're the one who knows all this. You want we've to tell got, I mean, we've got a pretty heavy unit and, we and, do. and it's, even though it's a high wall, it's low profile. So it does really well on the wind, especially yeah. with the trailer sway. You need to know your setup and how your setup works in winds and rain and adjust accordingly. Yeah. Use wisdom. Don't drive downhill really fast. Don't drive in big right. wind storms if you got a, a, a light unit. All right, well that has been our tips, tricks, advice on weathering the storm. We are about to be in a storm right now. We'll catch you later on the next episode. Feel free to like, subscribe, tell us your stories, drop them down in the comment. What storms did you weather? What storms did you say, no thank you? Let us know your experiences. We love to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching Adventures and Pop-Ups. Happy camping. Woo, happy camping.